Hello everyone and happy national or no happy international child free day August 1st 2019 and welcome back to my child free life I'm your host Tia and um let's just get started now I know it has been a minute since I've made a video in this series but I'm my bad my bad okay but i heard today was international child free day and i had to record something really quickly today we're going to be talking about selfishness within the child free community and most importantly selfishness within people who have kids because believe it or not i think it's much more selfish um to have kids than to not have them Hope you can't hear the background noise outside. My apologies if you do. But, um, and also I apologize if I breathe into the mic too much. My bad. <laughs> but let's get started. Now, I did make a video, um, similar to this over a year ago, I think. Basically talking about, you know, you're selfish if you don't have kids. Um, I will link that in the iCard above if you want to check it out. I don't remember what I said in that video, but, you know, it's been quite a while, and now I have more to say. So, here we are. So, it's typical, um, for people, for people who have kids or whatever, to tell you that you're selfish for not having a kid. And this has never really made sense to me because, number one, and this is a question that no one has ever given me an answer to, so that would be great. Number one, who are we being selfish to? Someone who doesn't exist? They aren't here. They are not alive. They are not present in any way, shape, or form. So how can we be selfish to someone who doesn't even exist at all? That's number one. Um, you know, and I'm just like, you know, I hear people who talk about, for example, Jeannie Mai. Um, this was a, pro I think around the time when she got divorced from her husband. You know, their pretty much the main reason for getting divorced was because he wanted to have a kid. I think when they first got together, neither one of them wanted to have kids, but he eventually changed his mind and she didn't thank god um and so they parted ways and so i remember her talking on her talk show the real about how like she basically admitted to being selfish or whatever because of why she doesn't want to have kids because she like you know wants to have her money and she wants to be able to do what she wants and whatever and i'm just like what's wrong with that though like, how is wanting to be able to do what you want selfish? It's your life. It's your body. If you want to freaking be able to wake up and just, I don't know, lay in bed for two hours, how is that selfish? If you want to go to Walmart at 2 a.m. in your pajamas, how is that selfish? How is it selfish to not want to sit there and spend an hour before leaving the house looking for your kid's shoe because they decided to hide it somewhere like what it doesn't make any sense to me and with the whole money thing um it's your money hello if you worked for it how is it selfish to how is it automatically selfish to not use it on other people is there some kind of obligation that i'm not aware of that you have to like hand your money out to everyone like you work for that money it's yours therefore after you pay your bills and stuff whatever you have left you should be able to do what you want with it because it's yours you work for it that does not make you selfish hello if you want to keep it all for yourself that's fine it's not selfish if you want to go help the homeless that's fine if you want to put half of it in a little savings thing because you're saving up for a vacation that is fine that's not selfish it's your money you work for it 
you should be able to keep it for yourself. It's yours. Hello. It's not a hard concept. Um, it's like very simple, people. Very simple. <sighs> and I'm just like, you know, the people who say that, I'm sorry. My voice is just like, oh my God. The people who say it's like selfish to like not spend or yeah to not spend your money on other people i'm just like so you're telling me that with every paycheck you get you just give money to some people like just because like it's one thing if the person you know genuinely needs something and you want to help them out if you're able to like whatever that's fine but like you like how many people do that what that's not like an obligation i don't get it um so that's number one another thing if you haven't noticed i don't know where okay y'all live why oh my god my voice sounds horrible i'm so sorry i don't know where y'all live but you know i'm in america okay <laughs> you haven't caught on to the fact that not even just in America just the economy sucks okay it sucks everything is expensive as freak for no reason paying rent is expensive I mean you'd be paying $800 for a freaking one or two bedroom apartment $800 a month to stay in a little freaking apartment okay or a house i don't know how rent and housing works but you know the healthcare system sucks doctor's appointments are expensive dental work is expensive medicines expensive food can be expensive gas is expensive all of this stuff is expensive they don't care either that's why they barely help people so, do you really think that it's unbelievable for people to want to keep their money as much as they can keep after they pay rent, a car, every other bills they have, water, phone, electric, food? Do you really think it's just like crazy to believe that somebody living in this world would want to keep as much money as they possibly can to oh i don't know survive without having to live paycheck to paycheck and a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck i mean i don't i don't understand this world and i don't understand why people keep forcing their kids into this bullcrap it makes no sense to me like you are literally going like the fact that people are living in this system and then they have the idea oh let me have a precious little kid because i love cats and i have some void to fill in my miserable life let me do the same exact thing to them so they can also struggle and be miserable at the end of the day where's the logic it makes no sense some people are literally even with one job depending on where it is you know unless you're i mean unless you're born rich it's just like you're most likely going to struggle financially okay that's just simple as that unless you are born rich or you just happen to excuse me unless you just happen to get a really really good paying job it's just like you're going to struggle financially at the end of the day that's just what it is um you know so even with one job it's just like if you have one job you know maybe you'll be okay maybe but some people are working two jobs some people are working four jobs just to be able to make a living and we shouldn't have to do that no one should have to work that much spend literally spend the majority of their time and life at work just to be able to survive 
that is sad and it sucks so if wanting if us child free you know folks wanting to keep our money that we work for makes us selfish well so be it i mean we're not the ones forcing kids into this so but you know these people think that they are on some type of high horse or something um yeah tone it down love please so um i'm on this website i'm going to just read some of the things on here oh sorry my bad um clear up the nail as asmr <clears throat> so i'm on this website called medium.com um, i'm just going to read some of the stuff on here both about child free and having kids selfishness whatever so on here it says some of the reasons to not have children are selfish too number one children are gross <laughs> um yeah that's because they are i mean they are they're freaking messy they're sticky freaking hands just i was at a place a while ago and there were kids there okay and i was thinking to myself i'm not gonna lie i was thinking to myself hmm maybe it wouldn't be that bad you know these kids seem nice quiet which really tia <laughs> you know but less than 10 seconds after having that thought one of the kids pretty much licked their entire hand and then proceeded to stick it in the chip bowl also then pretty much coughed over it and if that's not gross i don't know what is another kid also was sticking their hand down in their diaper luckily there was nothing in there but still that's gross and i just happened to witness that who knows what they do when you aren't watching you know what i mean children are gross they're always making a mess they're always doing stuff it's gross i don't really see how associating the word gross with selfish is even makes sense but okay they're helpless well they are um and obviously you have to take care of them for 18 years it's a responsibility that you can never take a break from i don't see how that is selfish to not want to do that um to a kid that doesn't even exist yet but okay i mean some people have kids just to have someone to take care of or just to try and um make themselves be able to like care and love for somebody and i'm just like what <laughs> First of all, you know, it would probably be a good idea to already be a caring and loving person before you force someone into this world. I mean, that would help a lot. Second of all, you don't have to have kids in order to care for someone. If you haven't noticed, there's like 7 billion people in this world. You have friends and family, I'm sure most of you do. Um... There are plenty of people already alive that you can care for and take care of. Foster kids, the homeless, old people. Did you forget about them? Okay. Number three, kids are annoying. Well, they are extremely annoying because they are loud and they're messy. Um, they're hard-headed. A lot of them are maybe that's you know and all the kids in my family are just like just seem to be extra hard-headed which is just irritating af and i don't have time for it they are annoying because they follow you everywhere they don't leave you alone they don't stop talking they make too much noise when you need quiet they make too much noise all that's annoying again i've never heard of the word annoying being associated with being selfish but um okay 
they're useless. I mean, they can't really do anything because you have to do everything. So, next. And the final one is it's selfish to not have kids because you don't like them. Now, this one definitely doesn't make sense. Um, I'm sorry. Do you like every person that you come in contact with? People have the idea. I feel like people have the idea that everybody automatically has to like kids. Like, you have to like them. How can you not like kids? They're so sweet and cute and innocent. <laughs> you know, and if you don't like kids, you're some kind of monster. I'm like, shut the F up, Susan. Like, do you like every person you come in contact with? Because I doubt it. I doubt you like every person in the world. So don't act like you do. Um, Nobody's obligated to like kids in general. No one is obligated to like your kids. Why? Because we can dislike whomever we please. And your annoying, hard-headed kid who keeps breaking everything is one of them. Okay? Have a nice day. Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah. It's stuff like that, or wanting to be able to do whatever we want when we want. Um, I'm sorry if I want to enjoy free time. Like, if you have a job, what makes, like, people who have kids go to work, okay, and they come home and still have to work because they have kids to take care of. You know what I mean? And if they're a single parent, they doing it by themselves. And sometimes, even if they're married, sometimes they still do it by themselves because the other person doesn't want to do anything. Or if you're in a one of those stupid gender role relationships from the freaking 1940s, you know, ugh, whatever, don't even start on that. I'm just like without having kids you know i'm sure those people if they work whether they work at home or out in a world job they can get to come home and go straight to bed if they want to they can enjoy peace and quiet when they relax after a hard day at work how is that selfish what is wrong with that please let me know there's nothing wrong with wanting to be able to do what you want, when you want, when you're done with your other obligations. <laughs> I, I mean, people, oh my god, I don't know, I don't get it. Okay, so moving on to people's selfish reasons to have kids. So, children as a vehicle for parenthood or purpose i want to be a mom slash dad bringing another person into this world suits your wants and needs not theirs which is exactly what you're doing you know people's reasons for having kids sometimes just don't even make any sense first of all if you're having a kid mainly for the reason to have someone to take care of you when you're old well, you deserve to be left because not only did you force them into this world, but you're then trying to force them to be your caretaker, which is, wow, so loving. Good luck with that. And if that is your reason for having kids, what are you going to do if your kid dies before you? Or if your kid decides that, hey, screw you, I don't have to take care of you, and they move to another country? I bet that would ruin your plans, wouldn't it? <laughs> Number two, children make a family. Um, no, they don't. Um, this is actually hella rude to say because that's then insinuating that two married people aren't a family. That if you don't have kids, you're nothing. And I'm just like, hmm. Do you people go around telling people who have lost a child that they are no longer a family because they don't have kids anymore? Because, um, if you do that, you need mental help. 
Anyway, you don't have kids. You don't need to have kids to have a family. You and your spouse are family enough. If you have a pet, your family. Okay. That's simple as that. All right. Third one. Children give meaning to life. Um, and again, I'm reading off of a website. So it says, a new mom once told me, in life, you have to either make a million dollars or have children. If you're not making a million dollars, you better have a kid. Because that's great logic. Um, if you're not making a million dollars, you probably can't afford a kid, but okay. <laughs> um, and on the other hand, she's right. Tons of people who think they don't want kids eventually have them, in part because they don't accomplish what they thought they would. And that is extremely sad, to be honest. And this out gives life meaning. First of all, don't you think it's kind of sad that people have kids to give their life meaning? I mean, well, sh shouldn't you feel some type of life meaning or purpose before forcing a kid into your bullcrap? I mean, because you're really just taking a gamble, really. You don't know if you're going to like ha being a parent. You don't know if you're going to like having kids. It's literally a gamble. And if you take that gamble and end up hating it, you're trapped. Half the people who have kids have them with little to no experience with them. So I feel like they're the ones who um, usually hate being a parent. So I'm just like, mm, okay. I remember reading, I have no idea if I can even find it, but I remember reading this article a long time ago about basically this woman. It was something about, you know, I don't know how old she was, but she, I guess, was, I think... I know she had a job. I feel like she was a teacher or something, but or worked in some kind of office. Uh, I I don't know. I'm wrong. <laughs> Ignore that part. But this woman who she was living life, and I guess basically, at one point, her life became static. You know, it wasn't really doing much. You know, it was just kind of there. And she thought to herself, you know, she's basically bored, basically. And she kind of thought to herself, hmm, maybe I should have a kid, you know, liven things up a little bit. Now, this was obviously an impulse decision, okay, because that's stupid. Ha having a kid because your life is static at the moment makes sense. So she had a kid, you know to um, li liven things up and you know what happened she ended up regretting it because that's what happens when you make dumb decisions <laughs> I mean that's the stuff I'm talking about because she did that on an impulse of like my life is boring at the boring at the moment it's not doing anything so I'm gonna have a kid she had that kid on a gamble not knowing what she was getting herself into not knowing whether she would like it or not, you know, etc. So she had her kid, and she ended up not liking it. It wasn't for her. Parenting was not for her. Having a kid was not for her. But guess what? She is now trapped for at least 18 years legally um, because she decided to take a gamble on something that she had no idea what was about. Why would you do that? why makes no sense and don't even get me started on people who cry about people who don't like being a parent oh god hold on there's a bug Okay, so there's that. Where's my phone? 
Okay, so next um, category. Having children is what comes next or is what people do. Um, it's selfish to not have kids. My mom used to say this to, to us growing up. But my mom was also the sort of person who tells her own kids that she should have probably never had had kids. And the sort of woman whose kids kind of agree with this. <laughs> um, so back to the thing, you know, how is it selfish not to have a kid? You owe it to some hypothetical human being who's not even born. You owe it to society, to God. You're selfish for what? not letting a little burst of cells happen or allowing angels to bring them to earth i don't get it i don't get it either sister <laughs> okay <laughs> another one and this one actually pisses me off because a lot of people do this and it's actually gross um but it says because everyone else is doing it an ex-boyfriend actually once gave this as his reason for wanting kids thank god everyone else wasn't jumping off of bridges I dumped him, not for this comment alone, but because shit logic like this was his way of living. Do people, people don't get it. Like, I genuinely think people don't understand having a kid is not just some little fun game. It changes your entire life for the rest of your life. Literally. That's not an over-exaggeration. It's a permanent decision it is a permanent life changing decision what don't you understand it's not a hard concept like what are you confused about and by the way another plug i also then when i first started this series i made a video about how i dated a guy who wanted kids and that's pretty much the title of the video so i will um Link that in the description box if you want to watch it. I read messages and everything. It's a little juicy. Obviously, that was my last relationship. Um, and that was a little over two years ago. Um, yeah, don't even get me started on child-free dating. Because what is even the point? But it's just like, why would you do something just because other people are doing it? Where is the logic? You're an idiots oh my gosh people piss me off children or babies romanticized so a lot of people say i love kids you like the idea of kids or kids in general what is not love hopefully you love your kid specifically as much as you like them as a group of arms length facts another one babies are beautiful or cute oh honey has nobody told you? Babies eventually become people. They don't stay babies forever. Do you also prefer tiny dogs? Having children but just because you like children is like playing some kind of human being version of forever a puppy, which is, of course, a real thing. Um, children objectified as dolls. I want something to dress up. Um, ill. There's also another thing of people who say they want a, you know, I want to have kids so I can have a little, a little me running around. So that, you know, if I have, a, you know, a girl, I can dress her up and, and we can dress in the same outfit and be cute little twins. I'm just like, wow, that does not sound narcissistic at all good job <laughs> yikes oh look i just literally said this <laughs> children <laughs> children as ego eccentric science experience i want a mini me <laughs> or a mini my partner <laughs> ew effing hell that poor future person <laughs> i mean she's not wrong i mean again people also hold on i'll say this after i get done okay another one don't you want to see what our kids would look like children are human beings not mix and match or arts and crafts 
Um, if you want to see what your kid would look like, put you and your partner's picture in a freaking generator online and see what your kid would look like. Like, what am I going to do? Get married and be like, hey, let's have a kid I don't want just so we can see what they'll look like. And then when we see what they look like, we can throw them in the trash. How does that sound, babe? Yeah, great logic, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, gosh, people are so stupid and annoying. Another thing, I want to share my religion or other lifestyle values. You can introduce them to it. But you don't control what they do with it. Love means letting them be their own person. Um, yeah, that was more like you want to force your religion on them. And then when they decide to leave when they're older, you can get mad and shun them. Congrats. Great parenting. Children as excep- exceptions. They might discover the cure for cancer. Yeah, they also might be the next Hitler or Jeffrey Dahmer, but, uh, you know, your kid probably isn't going to cure cancer, let's be honest. Um, so calm, calm your titties, okay? Thanks. They'll balance out how many unintelligent people are having kids. Um, sweetheart, the majority of people who have kids are unintelligent themselves. So try again. Children to resolve a fear of mortality. I don't want to die alone. Well, you probably will anyway, so congrats. I want someone to care for me when I'm old. Well, go to a nursing home. I want a legacy. Of what? Your trashy last name that no one cares about? Like, I know that's a very selfish reason to have kids. Um, again, with also, I need someone to carry on the family name. I don't understand people. Um, you, did you forget you're literally forcing your kids into this world? They did not ask to be here. They did not sign up for any of this. So, how dare you not only force someone into this crappy, horrible world... So that they can ultimately just get old, suffer, and die. So that you can try to make them your caregiver against their will. So that you can have at least one more person with your family name that literally nobody cares about except for you. And whether it lived on or it died, you wouldn't know about it. And you want to know why? Because you would be dead. Oh, imagine that. I'm just like, so you're telling me that somehow in your brain, you think it's loving to force a kid into this world. This is what you're doing, okay? Just in case you're confused. You have sex, which is, I'm sure, such a hard thing to do, pun intended. Biology run its course, you get pregnant, you keep the you keep it, whatever. Literally the second we're born, we are pretty much obligated to um or excuse me. We're pretty much looked at as obligated to listen to, obey, um, and whatever, to take orders from pretty much everyone who's older than us or has authority because you have to listen to your parents almost your whole life or at least till you're 18 we're then forced to go to school we spend the majority of our time growing up growing going to school for 13 years 14 if you went to preschool so that's great school sucks if you happen to like school don't know why you would but congrats i guess but school sucks I hated it, still hate it, and I graduated five years ago. Um, So you're forced to go to school, and you then have to listen to everyone there, all the teachers and everything. We then graduate school at either 17 or 18, you know, if you're normal. (laughs) And we are literally thrown out into the world 
and then you pretty much and then some people go to college but essentially you pretty much then are looked at to get a job and literally work until you die basically that's literally life and sure there's stuff in between there good or bad most of it you can't control but essentially that's what life is so you're putting that on somebody who didn't ask for it who didn't sign up for it so you can have one more person with your stupid last name you're an idiot <coughs> excuse me oh, excuse me it makes no s no sense it's ignorant it's selfish and it's gross so yeah anyway we all die accept this and move on it's not your kid's job to ensure your lifeline there's also no promise or obligation for kids to take care of you in your old age if you want a hospice worker you have to hire one excuse me so um yeah i mean i just don't get why people don't get this Children for love. I want someone to love, and I want someone to love me. Um, if you don't love your family, you don't love your friends. Same for people who say that you won't know true love until you have a kid. A kid by blood. And I'm just like, wow. You might want to tell your spouse that you don't love them because you didn't push them out of your coochie. I'll pray for you, though, because that's sad. Um, also, your kid is not guaranteed to love you, just like no one is guaranteed to love you or your kids. So, again, another gamble. And also, for people who wanted to carry on the last name, I bet you were going to be that type of parent who tries to harass your kids into giving you grandkids, even though they've made it clear that they don't want kids. Um, yeah, anyway, I already made a video on about that. Ooh, I should read that stuff. Oh my god. Okay. I'll make that another video. Never mind. <laughs> Children as a fix for marriage or manipulation. It's disgusting. Oh my gosh. I want to get married. Um. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? You don't have to have kids just because you get married. Marriage isn't just for people. Or... Yeah, marriage isn't just for people who want to have kids, so what are you talking about? I want to keep our marriage together. Guess what? Having a kid is not going to do that, you ignorant idiot. I'll give It'll give us something to focus on or talk about. Um, yeah, I know it will. Kids are a protection against a divorce or financial collateral if we get one. Wow gross children are the result of circumstances i'm pregnant unless you maintain values that dictate your decision here this isn't a rational reason i've already had too many abortions i know at least one woman who had a kid for this reason and dear god woman it's now or never ha <laughs> okay anyways i hope I mean, I can't sit here all day. I've been recording for 40 minutes almost. But I hope you get it. Anyway. <clears throat> I hope you understand, you know, what I was getting at. Um, if you want to call, you know, our reasons for not wanting to have kids selfish then so be it but at the end of the day um you're selfish for having kids um and that is just a fact and before you say anything about money which doesn't have anything to do with this people will say like i'll say you know you're selfish for having kids and they'll respond with but i have money i can as long as i can financially support support them it's fine i'm just like that has nothing 
to do with anything yeah maybe you do have money maybe you have enough money to take care of five kids but that doesn't change the fact that your reason for having them was most likely a selfish reason okay so don't get confused okay sweetheart Anyways, um, I think that was all I can do for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening. Um, and if you are child free by choice and, you know, enjoyed this, I have a whole playlist. Um, unfortunately I had to f- switch to a more podcast type, f- type way of making my videos because I'm having problems, but I have other videos, um, and I will link the playlist down below. Make sure to check out those videos I mentioned, and if I remember, I will link the article that I was reading off of today. Um, once again, happy International Child Free Day. Um, if you're child free, I hope you enjoy your peace and quiet, your sleep, your everything that you can do without kids, and I hope you stay child free. Um, <laughs> also it turns out that I am a, I guess, an antinatalist, which I had no idea what that word meant until like almost a year ago. One of my YouTube friends is an antinatalist, so I pretty much, you know, figured that from watching his videos that I guess I am too. And it sucks. He's, he's probably going to watch this, maybe. I don't know if he'll listen to the whole thing, but... Um, he's literally the only child-free guy that I've pretty much ever talked to, and that sucks, because he lives nowhere near me, and don't even get me started on child-free dating, because, ugh. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed listening. Be sure to check out my other videos in this series, and you can also check out my other videos in general. Hope my voice didn't annoy you too much. (laughs) <laughs> and um yeah thanks for watching thumbs up subscribe if you would like to follow me on social media is linked in the description box down below and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye